What's good, y'all? Welcome to this presentation. The topic is, does looks matter? All right, bro, I'm not even going to give you no long, drawn-out thing, bro. I'm going to just be real with you. Looks does matter. It matters, bro. Okay? It matters, but what you need to understand is looks is just part of the picture, right? It's just part of the picture, meaning women, and this is very, it's very uh, fortunate to be a man because women, they don't focus as much on looks as we do, okay? Because if you understand um, female nature and you understand male nature, females are attracted to a man's survival value. Okay, I'm going to go into that. But just understand that females are attracted to a man's survival value and males are attracted to a woman's replication value. When I say survival value, another way to put that in in you know common common terms or like how things are in modern days cuz survival value kind of sounds like some some like, you know, old school like uh arcade cake shit, right? So the best way to understand that is when I say survival value, I mean she's attracted to how you can help her quality of life get better. I hope that makes sense. That's what she's attracted to. So if you think about a guy who's good looking, her quality of life gets better if she gets with that good looking guy because she can show him off to her friends. She can say, hey, I have this cute guy friend. Uh, you know, I'm dating this cute guy. She can post them on her Instagram. She can, you know what I mean? Like she's benefiting from that. Her quality of life goes up because that guy's looks, right? But what, what you need to understand is that doesn't mean that that guy's going to be able to keep her interest because that's going to die out after some time, right? Like maybe for a while, the looks thing will keep her interest. Say, yeah, he's so pretty, he's so handsome, whatever. But if he doesn't have anything else to bring to the table, she's just going to use up his looks until it no longer um, stimulates her. And then she's done with him. Okay? So it's, it's the same thing with money. You know, yes, money can get women too. But if that's all you have, she's just going to use you up until, she's, until the money is no longer um, that interesting to her. Like when, once the money becomes like a normalized thing, she's just going to move on to the next guy. That's it. You're done. She's just using you for your money. It's the same thing with looks. If you just have looks, she's going to use you for your looks until she's done with that. Okay? Um, status, right? She'll use you for your status until she can find another guy with higher status and then she's gone. However, there's something that you can develop as a man that will keep women interested. And this is how you beat other men. Because as I said, there's always... the if you just have the looks, she's going to be with you for your looks until somebody better looking comes because that's the value you're providing. So if somebody else has it better, she's going to she's gonna go. Same thing with money. If a guy has a lot of money, uh, if you have a lot of money and she gets with you because of that reason and another guy shows up with more money, she's going to leave because that guy has more survival value. Women are attracted to survival value. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how they're wired. The same way we're attracted to replication value, which is their looks, how attractive a woman is physically. Okay, we all, we take into these consideration these other things like personality values, yes, but physical looks is extremely important to men and naturally because we are wired to want to replicate with the best looking woman because the uh, when she looks really good or she's, her body is very physically attractive, it means that if you were to mate with her, your child would have less mutations in in uh, you know in the creation of the child, right? Her body's basically signaling to you that she has high gene quality, right? You know, at least better gene quality than the girl who's less good looking. So that's why your body is responding to her because it knows that if it, you mate with her, you're gonna have healthy children based on what you're seeing, right? Based on her body, um, uh, you know how attractive her body is or how well well designed it is or whatever right so that's like the the nerdy scientific part to it but anyway so what i'm saying here is yes looks does matter yes money does matter yes status does matter but what is more powerful than all those things is your character because your character is what's going to keep a woman interested right 
Your ability to stay masculine and grounded throughout the relationship is what's going to keep her interested because the challenge for her is to try to break your character. Not in a bad way, but she's just, that's how she's designed. She's bringing the chaos to your order. And as long as you maintain your order, she stays attracted because you're still a challenge. You're still a challenge. But once you break order, once you break, once you demonstrate to her that you are insecure or that you're afraid to lose her or that you don't have any other options or whatever, she will lose interest. She'll lose interest because she, you're no longer a challenge. You're no longer going to be able to stimulate her emotionally. And so she's going to get bored of the relationship. See what I'm saying? So when you focus on character and developing your character constantly and always evolving, this is how you keep a woman interested. This is how you get her attention. This is how you keep her interested. And now she's into you, your beingness, the way you are being and your evolution. That's what's, that's what's keeping her interested. It's not just your looks, not just your money, not just your status. Now, I believe you as a man, you should max out every area you can, bro. Max out your money, max out your status, max out your looks, max out your character. But character is the key thing. That's why I talk about grounded masculinity, authentic expression, and leadership. What are these? These are character traits, right, of a strong character. You think about a strong character, you would expect that man to be grounded in his masculinity. You would expect that man to be able to express himself authentically, and you wouldn't think he was a follower. You would, you would see him as a leader, right? So that's what you want to become because that's what that's the most powerful thing a man can have because that demonstrates survival value more than those other things. The character, right? When a woman sees a good-looking guy, what does that good the the, the good-looking guy it he's basically she's creating uh an idea of how he's going to be. She expects him to be cool as fuck cuz he's good-looking. Right? But a lot of times they get disappointed. They get with the dude and then they realize this dude is whack. He has no personality. He's a pussy. He bends. Anytime she gets upset, he starts, you know, bending and breaking. He's not grounded. He's not masculine. He he doesn't he can't decide shit. You know, he doesn't have nothing, he doesn't know what he's doing in life. He's confused about shit. He's asking her to lead and shit like that. Right, so she may fuck with him for a little while, but if he doesn't have no character, bro, if he doesn't have no personality, if he doesn't have no um, masculinity, if he's not grounded, if he doesn't have no purpose, no drive, no energy, she's going to dip, bro. She's just going to find like the... So yes, um, a woman, you know, will leave you for a higher value guy. Yes, that can happen, but as I said, if you have a strong character and you're keeping her interest, she won't have a reason to look around. She looks around once she has used you up. You see what I'm saying? So you don't want to be a guy that can be used up. You want to be a guy that is so amazing that there's you have so much to give that she could never use you up. You see what I'm saying? You, you're so amazing as a character and also the fact that you're always evolving, right? So you're not complacent, okay? Like, come on, put yourself in her shoes. Like, this this is a good exercise, bro. Put yourself in the, the woman's shoes. Like, let's say you were a woman and you're a very attractive woman. You could have any man. And a guy shows up and he has a lot of money. Or let's say he's very good looking, right? Since we're talking about does looks matter. He's very good looking. You're like, okay, he's very good looking. So you get with him. But then he has no character. He has no balls. He has no personality. Um, he has a scarcity mindset, he doesn't, have, he doesn't have any goals, you know what I mean? <laughs> he has no character, like he, that ca character has to be there, bro. And so if you're not that good looking, if you don't have that much status, if you don't have that much money, focus on character because your character is what's gonna get you the money. Your character is what's gonna get you the status. The character is what's gonna make you more good, better looking. You start to look, when you have a great personality and you're a cool guy and you're fun to be around, people stop focus, stop focusing on your looks. You ever notice that? There's some guys that are like not that good looking, but girls still love them because they have so much value, so much other qualities they bring to the table that you don't, you don't even focus on their, their looks, right? And that's why I talk about like bringing up your strengths so they overshadow your weaknesses. When you have a lot of strengths and a lot of qualities that are great about you, your, the qualities that you don't excel in are not as noticeable, right? 
because you you excel in all these other areas and you amplify them so much that people are captivated by those qualities right and so that's this whole this whole looks thing like yes bro it does matter but it's not like an end all be all or it's not it's not like oh if you don't have looks you're doomed work on your character work on your beingness work on your grounded masculinity women are attracted to survival value not looks looks is part of survival value right because if you're good looking it can help you you know good look good looking people get opportunities off of their looks so that's a form of survival value you see what i'm saying you gotta look deeper than the surface level thing like okay why are women attracted to men who have a lot of money well first of all there's a certain type of women women that are attracted to that there's some women who don't don't give a fuck but there's some women who are interested in that but they're interested in that because to them that is the survival value they are looking for in that in that place that they're at in their life right like for example a woman who has a lot of money is probably not looking for a guy who has a lot of money cuz that that's not that valuable to her you see what i'm saying so you got to understand there's different women out there there are some women who yes they go for looks like i remember when i used to go to the club one of my boys he was very good looking i noticed one thing that i noticed is he would pull a certain type of girl and i would pull a certain type of girl but we wouldn't we wouldn't necessarily pull the the same types of girls and I noticed the girls that he got with, those girls tend to go to get with guys that look similar to him or had a similar way of being. And basically those were girls that went for good looking guys. Like there's a certain type of girl that that's one of the qualities that she values. But there's also other girls that value other things. I'm not super good looking, but I'm definitely grounded in my masculinity. I'm definitely confident. I definitely have character. I'm definitely able to lead a woman. I'm definitely able to express myself authentically. So I get those women who are interested in those survival values, right? Because she understands those values will basically lead her into, you know, interesting experiences in life, right? And we want to have interesting experiences in life, men and women, right? So when somebody shows up who can, who's strong enough to create amazing experiences for people and allow people to feel different emotions and feel safe, that's a very valuable trait to have. And women are looking for that. Women are looking for men who, who are grounded in their masculinity, can express, express themselves authentically, and can lead them through these interesting experiences in life, right? They don't want a man that they have to like, so what are we doing now? Or where are we going? Or Because she, she has no faith, she has no um, trust or respect in your leadership. She has no trust or respect in your masculinity. That's why she's questioning you and shit testing you all the time. If you demonstrate grounded masculinity, you demonstrate your ability to express yourself authentically and lead, they won't test you as much because they're happy with what you're doing because you're being a man. You're providing that masculinity so she could be feminine. It's when it's when you don't provide that masculinity, that's when they get, you know, they get angry or they start getting irritated and shit because now they have to go in their masculine. They don't want to go in their masculine. If they if they have a man like if you're supposed to be the man then why is she have to go on her masculine that doesn't make any sense you're supposed to be in your masculine so she could be in her feminine and by definition if you're not in her masculine if you're not in your masculine and she's in hers then what are you in you're in your feminine what why are you would you be in a relationship with a woman just to, so you could be in your feminine if you want to be in your feminine then just be in your feminine by yourself a woman gets with a man because the man is supposed to be a man. Otherwise, why would she get with him? She might as well just get with another woman. So it's just understanding, yes, looks does matter, but it's not. It's just one factor of many factors that are, you know, that play importance in your value, right? So, for example, if there's two guys <clears throat> and they both have great character, Let's say they're both grounded in their masculinity. They both can express themselves authentically and they both can lead. But one is better looking than the other. Then that one who's better looking than the other, he's going to he's gonna be a little higher on the scale. That's just the reality of it. Okay. So this other guy, if he wants to beat this guy who's better looking, he's going to have to bring up his value in these other areas to match him. Right. So if I'm going up against, like if I'm trying to get a girl. Right? Let's just say there's a girl that I really want, I want to pursue, and I see that she's currently interested in some guy that's very good looking, better looking than me. I'm going to amplify these other traits that I have going for me to out 
outplay or out out compete his good looks. Okay, so I'm gonna bring up the masculinity. I'm gonna ground out the masculinity more. I'm gonna express myself more authentically. I'm gonna lead more, right? I'm gonna sh let my personality shine more. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show more value because that's the game. It's a game of value, okay? And the more value you have, the better, right? So that's what I'm saying. You wanna maximize, max yourself out. Make yourself as valuable as possible so when you walk up to the woman, you can actually walk up to her like a king because you feel like a king because you've created yourself into a king. I'm not saying going around, go around acting like a king but you have no value. I'm saying develop the value. That's what I'm saying. Work on your grounded masculinity. Working on your grounded masculinity, what I mean by that is like putting yourself through challenges, you know? Going out and trying different shit, doing different shit, going after your goals, going after your purpose. This is what builds up your ground and masculinity. That's how you do it. It's by handling tension, handling challenges in life, going through adventures, you know, go, uh, moving through adversity, having tough times and, and working through it. Disciplining yourself, uh, disciplining yourself and following through on what you said you're going to do. Focusing, you know, taking action on a consistent basis. These are things you want to do as a man. This is what brings up your ground of masculinity. Now, the authentic expression. You need to practice that. You need to practice being authentic. Stop trying to fit in and be a certain way and be how they said you're supposed to be and be your old identity and all this weird shit. Like, it's okay to decide you want to be better. It's okay to decide that you want to be a better version of yourself, that you want to change. Right? You can change. Like, I go, I go through... I take on different identities depending on where I am in my life. I keep these co certain core qualities that, have, that are working for me and I may shift into different identities. There was a time where I used to be like really goofy. Like I went through a time where I just like used to, I, cause my, the, the creation I was working on was I was very fascinated and interested in the, the Joker character. The Joker I used to even wear, I, I still have it. I used to wear this dog tag. I still I still wear it sometimes, the Joker, because I was creating and creating this character of the Joker in myself because I want this to be part of my value. Joker has some great qualities, you know, not the not the whole evil um, burn down the world shit, but like more of like the carefree, you know, have fun, every, be playful, you know, that kind of vibe. Like I used to be more on that. Right. Like. Like, but you can see it's still part of my character. Like it comes out here and there in my communication, right? And so that's what you want. You want to have these different um, flavors to your to your uh, <laughs> to your identity or, or your beingness. Like you don't just want to be one flavor. You want to have multiple flavors. That's how you keep the girl interested. You're just one flavor. If you're just all good looks, then she's gonna get tired of that shit. If you're just all money, she's gonna get tired of that shit. If you're just all status, she's gonna get tired of that shit. But when you have all these different qualities going for you, you can make her laugh. You could turn her on. You can lead her and make her go in her feminine. You can make her feel safe. You can help her improve in life through your wisdom and knowledge and experience. You could demonstrate maturity. You can um, protect her. You know what I mean? You can help her maybe, you know, get a better job or help her by, you know, bringing her in your business or something. Or maybe, you you know, you got money so you can help her financially. You know what I mean? Like, you want to have these different qualities and it's not like you're, oh, I have to do this, I have to do it. No, you're doing it because you're good. Like, you want to get to a place where you are good. You're whole, you're 100%. And so you just want to give because there's nothing left to do. Like, once you handle your shit and you max yourself and you keep, you know, you just on your journey of, complete like maximization <laughs> like on that journey you're gonna want to give man because you're gonna see people struggling you're gonna see people need help you're gonna be like man i need to help these people right because i got my shit you know my shit on point and there's levels to it right so you're always cut like i'm always constantly evolving right like there's a lot of qualities that i have and i've sharpened them up and gotten them to a, a great level where i can i can leverage them and use them when, when i need them but I keep leveling up. That's why it's like the, the results are just going to keep getting better. You know, the life is just going to keep getting better. The, the, the condition is going to keep getting better because 
Literally, I value evolution. I value evolution. I value progress. I value constant um, improvement. I value putting myself through uh, discomfort because I know that's where growth happens. I'm not resisting shit. Stop resisting shit. Get better at relaxing and enjoying every single moment of life. Right? That's what's going to build your character, actually. That's what's going to make you more grounded. That's what a grounded man is. A grounded man is the man who can walk into a situation and just be relaxed and just enjoy the situation and just self-amuse. He's already like he's already happy. Nothing need, there's nothing that needs to happen to make him happy. Like he's already happy no matter what. If it starts raining, he's still going to be happy. Right? If the there's a delay, because of traffic, he's still gonna be happy, right? He just turn his music up louder and just jam out. Like, that's how you wanna become. You wanna become the guy that creates his emotions, not the guy that's a victim of his emotions, a victim of his feelings, you know? You create your emotions, you create your feelings by having power over your state of mind, you know? Your feelings and emotions, act, they, they follow your state of mind and follow your actions. So once you understand it, like if you're tired, if you're feeling tired, literally, if you just start, you know, jumping up around or whatever, you do, that tiredness goes away because you don't change up the chemistry of your body, right? It takes energy to do that, but when you do it, you feel different. It's just you don't want to do it, right? Because your emotions telling you, nah, just fuck it, you know. But it's like valuing intelligence and discipline over those emotions, right? Because intelligence and discipline will get you closer to your goal a lot, a lot, a lot more than emotions most of the time. Unless you, you figure out how to get your emotions on your side, which you can do. And that's going to require discipline and intelligence. So you want to value discipline and intelligence because that's what's going to get you what you want in life. You know? Like intelligence is actually very attractive to women when you apply it properly. Apply intelligence to your communication. Apply intelligence to your seduction. Apply intelligence to your attraction. Apply intelligence to your body. Apply intelligence to your character. Right? Just get smart as fuck about making yourself the best version of yourself. You know what I mean? Find your strengths and amplify them shits. Because there's women out there that are interested in a man who has high value. Not average value, not low value. High value. Okay? And there's different there's different kind of women out there that are look, seeking different kinds of value. So this whole looks thing... It does matter, bro, because as I said, if you have two men that have the same character, same skill set, same value, but one's better looking, then yeah, the one who's better looking is going to get more girls because his value is higher just because that's one factor or one attribute that he has an advantage on on the other guy, right? But if that other guy wants to beat that good looking guy, he has to bring up his, his um, qualities or his attributes and level them up. See what I'm saying? So yeah, fellas, look, I have this program. It's called the Sexy Beast Program. It will turn you into a sexy beast. Like all this stuff that I'm talking about, like I'll show you a process on how you can apply yourself consistently for a certain a specific period of time and get a specific result, right? Like if you like the idea of getting three dates per week, right? Literally, you follow the Sexy Beast program, you can get to that point. If you like the idea of having a rotation of women that you're seeing, you follow the Sexy Beast program, you can get that result. If you like the idea of having a girlfriend, follow the Sexy Beast program, you get that result. But what's going to happen that's better than all those results that I just said is the character and the beingness you're going to become. Because that character and that beingness is going to translate to all areas of your life. Financial, status, you know, relationships, you know. Your relationship with yourself, relationship with others, the way you feel about yourself, your mindset, right? Because we focus on these three things, grounded masculinity, authentic expression, and leadership. You get these three areas covered, I'm telling you, because that's, that's the core of what a real man is. That's the core of what a successful man is. That is the core of what, and, you know, you want to use the word alpha male or dominant man or, you know, that guy. The boss, the king, the emperor, the king, the boss, the emperor, the leader. This is the guy who's most grounded. This is the guy that can handle shit. This is the guy that can speak, that can communicate, that can make shit happen. Right? This is the guy who can lead from the front and move towards the goals, move towards the purpose and, and achieve 
the reality he wants to achieve, right? So hit me up. It's called the Sexy Beast Program. Hit me up, send me a message, say, hey, Trey, I'm interested in the Sexy Beast Program. I'll give you the details, okay? It's not super expensive. It's only $500, okay? Only $500. It's a three-month program. We're working together one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm going to turn you into a sexy beast, all right? Peace.